What's good, people? Welcome back to the Nameless Cartel YouTube channel. It's your boy, Nameless Poet, back again with another type of video. It's an impromptu video, I can't even lie. Like, I, <laughs> I kind of just jumped on this because, um, well, something happened recently. It was the Brit Awards um, on the 8th of February. Um, I'm recording this a couple of days after. I just thought, nah, like, I have to jump on this thing and just, um, yeah, just jump on the YouTube, record a video real quick and just... Uh, yeah, I guess restart or rekindle or rebrand a certain type of video setup that I wanted to do last year. Obviously, if you watch any of the previous videos I've come out in like recent weeks or whatever, I said I want to bang out more different types of content and yeah, just um, yeah, just improve my video making ability essentially. So, just kicking off new a new series of videos and it's going to be called Off the First Listen. Now. I'm going to explain to you guys real briefly because I want to get into the video real quick. I want to try to anyway. Now, I'm a very, very big fan of music. I've loved music for ages, do music myself, um, go to shows, um, support artists, all that sort of thing. I wasn't really supporting artists back in the day, like what, when I was like, I don't know, 14, 15 or whatever, when I was doing the illegal downloads and that, shh, all of that, you know, LimeWire and them things there. Obviously, the people that are of age they know about that so back in the day I just used to download music illegally all that sort of thing and I used to really like album arts and um, you know just the artwork that goes into music and the whole process behind that sort of thing as to why somebody chooses the artwork music uh, I mean and links it to their music and that sort of situation so um, yeah I recently like I don't know it might have been like two years ago now two three years ago something like that um, I got into collecting vinyl just because like, I like the tangible, like, you know, the tangible feel of, like, holding on to a piece of art, essentially. That's just how I look at it. Music, art goes hand in hand at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, so I started collecting vinyl because, yeah, it was it's just a, a cool hobby to me, isn't it? Like, and obviously the people that are audiophiles, music lovers, they understand what it is, isn't it? I've got a bit of vinyl here on the shelves and that, some down there and some downstairs in the home studio setup and all that. But, um, yeah linking this now so off the first listen looking at vinyl and um the brit awards that just happened recently i think there's no better person to start off with a whole new series of videos based on music and vinyl and all that stuff no better person to look at than little sims shout out little sims in it king simbi simbiatu ajikawo certainly in it north london stand up you already know where it is um, obviously, I'm from Northwest, isn't it? but North in it, like, you know, they're, they're cool as well, innit? <laughs> but, um, yeah, bro, Little Sims came out, done her thing, performed, smashed the performance. I right, nah, I'm Gasper, innit? Like, I've been a fan of Little Sims for the longest time, innit? Like, I came across Little Sims early in her career, like, I believe it was XYZ, the project. Do you know, hang on, let me confirm that and look, look that up in it because <laughs> she has a lot of work a lot of different pieces of um a lot of different projects and stuff like mixtapes from back in the day i remember like when i really fell in love with with her as an artist was um her run with the age 101 drops age one age 101 drop one to six now basically but um yeah one to six she had she had a whole bunch of mixtapes um let me see yeah let me see what was the first project I came across and I'll keep it I'll keep it all the way 100 and I didn't really think um at the time obviously I was like oh yeah nah, you know she's all right like you know like the sickness that nah, you know she it's sick that she's doing her thing but I would like you know obviously when you're listening to like other people's music that are a bit more established at the time you're not really gonna like rate it all the way the same way you would rate some already established artists that sort of thing in it but as time went on as years went on she just kept on plugging away doing her thing she's a fully independent artist 30 30 artists like she like there's not many there's not there's I, the way i look at it yeah is she's one of the artists in the uk that really pushes the letter and really tries to be different and and interesting as opposed to doing the same sort of cliche sounding music or the same sort of stuff that everybody else is in obviously not knocking it it's just that me as the, the type of fan that i am or the type of music um i listen to or the music lover that i am 
I like it when people are, you know, stand apart from everybody else and try and make their own thing unique and different to everybody else. So that's one of the main things that stood out to me with Lil Sim straight away. Like she's a, a rapper's rapper and like if you're really listening to her and taking in her words and and listening to the lyrical content of an artist, then Lil Sims is up there with some of the best gets. Um even Shout out to Dave as well, man. Forgot Dave. Dave did his thing on 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 the Brits as well. Shout out to Dave, South London and all that. Um, yeah, now nah, there's 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 definitely a lot of sick artists coming out of the UK right now, and and Little Sims, Dave, um, obviously Stormzy, um, Koji Radical. Um, oh, ooh, right, this names just slipped my mind all of a sudden. Nux. Uh, obviously, there's a whole bunch of artists that I can name that, like you know. You can go the list goes on and on when it comes to the uk these days but um those are just a, a few that i have to shout out and just say yeah you guys keep doing your thing obviously you're gonna keep doing your thing regardless but like just know that people are appreciating the thing differently over here and the appreciation goes all the way with little sims where she got and you know what yeah she got uh she got an award from the brits but it's such a weird like award to get and obviously she's a very like from what i've seen of, of her obviously i don't know her, but um she's a very humble character from what from what i can see in it and um it just yeah like the, the award she got um best new artist i'm just there thinking new artist like she's been going strong for like 15 years or something like that like you've been doing that thing but like people that know Lil Sims, they know in it. They've been riding out for Lil Sims for a minute. She's 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 a certain artist in it. Today I want to give you a bit of a review, like you know, sort of an unboxing setup. Um, off the first listen, so this these series of videos, I want it to be sort of like a first time listen situation. Get my opinion. Get my um, my immediate reaction to music that I buy myself or listen to. Obviously, Spotify is there, so you probably use Spotify every now and then. Um, but I want to buy vinyl and listen to it for the first time on vinyl. And um, yeah, give you my opinions, give you my reviews. So obviously, that's so there's the vinyl element of it off the first listen. And then obviously, if I can't get my hands on vinyl, then it would just be like a first time listen on Spotify or some some sort of situation like that. And yeah, that's basically what Off The First Listen is going to be consistent of going forward. But today, Little Sims appreciation, you already know, big fan. To me, she's artist of the, artist of the year last year, definitely. It's 2022 this year. 2021 was her year, in my opinion, obviously, at like just the fan that I am of her in it. So yeah, shout out Little Sims, shout out Dave, shout out the people that won stuff at the Brits. Not, I can't remember everybody. Shout out the, you know, the people that... um presented at the brits nella rose amongst other people shout out the people's them in it like you get me okay cool so um yeah we've got sometimes i might be introvert oh look at the lighting on that yeah you guys can see that yeah all right say so nothing um gatefold little sims exclusive yellow vinyl i don't know if you can see that that's what it says there. Now, when I, I pre-ordered this, like, 2021, whenever the pre-orders came out, I can't remember, I feel like it was March or something, and it came, like, September, October times or something like that. Um, I bought I bought two. You can see one up there. Um, because it was like a bundle pack. It was supposed to be, like, a yellow exclusive vinyl and, I believe, a white one. But, um... And I bought some for my sister as well for her birthday. And my sister told me that one of them came and it was just a black vinyl. So don't know what them man are playing at still. I might have to might have to get onto them one day. So, oh snap, yo, it's signed as well. Hey, shout out to Lil Sims, bro. Signed over there. So I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that properly. Some of that. But um Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, let's just open this up and get get right to it. Do you know, I realise now, in it, like, this video is definitely going to be long, in it. Like, sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah, if you stick if you stick around for the whole video, you're a real one, in it. You're supporting su supporting the man, them supporting the thing, and that. And um, yeah, love for that. Innit? It's literally still sealed. I should have opened this ages ago, but 
I wanted to save the opening for a video like this, so yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, right, okay. Might need something sharp. Oh no, the nails did it. All right, cool, so now. Cool. So yeah, this is a, obviously my sister's already opened hers, but I have, I you know, I made sure that I didn't look at them so that this is a fresh reaction. Obviously, if you're a serious uh, Little Sims fan, you'll notice that I'm, I'm missing one of her albums, unfortunately. Um, probably my favourite album of hers, um, it, that is uh, Stillness and Wonderland. Yeah, that that's my favourite project of hers. Unfortunately, I, don't, I haven't got my hands on that vinyl yet. It's very difficult to find these days. Um, it's one of those... Obviously, being an independent artist, it's not mass-produced like that. And I remember I went to... Uh, headline show at a at the round a roundhouse north is northwest north london northwest london i believe roundhouse um uh obviously uh what's it gets kano um chip um stormzy they all came out and performed that day and i believe she was selling merch selling vinyl and all that stuff and at the time i just didn't I just didn't think of it. Like, I wasn't collecting vinyl at the time, so I missed out on that one. But obviously, I'll eventually get, and when I do get, I'll I'll show you what that looks like on on the channel as well. Um, but yes, sometimes I might be introvert. Wow, this is a really clean gatefold. Like, I, I definitely want to keep this in good condition. Like, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, most recent project. Got the front. Got the back. Cool little artwork. It's, you know, it's a very clean, clean album art. Like, you know, it's not uh, it's not doing too much. It's just, you know. Then you've got the inside of the gatefold. Cool little bit of artwork there. Oh, snap, do you know what? she got some 30 Nikes on there, you know. Didn't even need that stone. That's a nice stone. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But, um, yeah, so... I could go through the the track list with you, but um, this is a lot of info. I don't know if you want to hear it. There's 19 songs on here. Um, actually, do you know what? I know what I'll do. Um, so that's what the that's what an LP looks like. Comes in one of these harsh ass sleeves. I need to change up the sleeves. I'll show you with, with some of these other ones. They're already open. I'll show you what a replacement sleeve might look like. But um, yeah, I'll just go through the track listing with you on each side, on each uh, side of the LP. Sometimes when you get LP, like depending on the artist or depending on, I guess, whoever produces these these um, vinyl LPs, they sometimes put the track listing on the disc, like right there. Like, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to read it out. So on side A, you've got Introvert, um, one of the main singles of the album. A uh, woman featuring Cleo Soul. That's number two. Another single of the album. Number three is Two Worlds Apart. The number four is I Love You, I Hate You. That's on the first side. So obviously when you put on the vinyl player, uh, plays the one side and then done. And then you're going to have to flip it over for those Spotify babies out there. And then play the next part. So on side B, we've got Little Q Part 1, Little Q Part 2. So that's five and six. Number seven, Gems. Number eight, Speed, and number nine, Standing Ovation. So that's the first LP. There's 19, 19 songs on here, so I would assume the next LP has five and five, because obviously 19, five plus, yeah, maths and that. Um, but yeah, like you can see what the vinyl looks like. That's the exclusive one. So. I don't need to pull this out of the sleeve because, you know, damages LP, pulling them in and out of these nasty, you know, cardish. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a mad material in it. It definitely damages the, the LP. But um, as you can see, another yellow one. You can see that there. So side C, you've got um, number 10, I See You. Number 11, uh, The Rapper That Came To T. Number 12, Rolling Stone. Number 13, Protect My Energy. Number 14, Never Make Promises. And then on side D, you have 15, Point and Kill, Bad Boy Tune, featuring, um, ooh. Hmm. How do you, 
pronounce this? Or Obongjaye? I'm Nigerian as well, you know, and sometimes it's hard to pronounce some of the names that you come across, unfortunately. I've never actually said that name, so forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, number 16, Fear No Man. Number 17, The Garden. Number 18, How Did You Get Here? And number 19, Misunderstood. So, that is the project. That is the, the LP setup. Um... I would say this album, this this project is a very uh, unique project. Um, definitely has a lot of um, a lot of messages that you you, de you have to take in, and like obviously, Little Sims is that type of eyes where you have to really take in the lyrical content and really deep what she's saying. Um, I haven't listened to the project as much as I would have liked to. Um, I will listen to this vinyl properly and probably update my review in general but off my first impressions of the project I would say it's in my opinion obviously because the, the type of person I am when I listen to music I obviously really appreciate lyrical content so off the first listen I'd probably give it like overall like a 7.5 to 8 because of what she's talking about the musical choice could be here and there for me, obviously, but that's just like, you know, in terms of music or like, you know, just music taste, I guess, it, um, that sort of thing. But it's a solid project in my opinion. I really like it. So um, that's just like, you know, it's not my favorite of hers, but like she has a lot of, a lot of projects. Like, I don't know, something like 11, 12 or something, 12 and counting or something mad like that in it. So. These are just looking at her studio albums. But yeah, have to respect it. Have to respect the work rate. She's doing her thing. Um, yeah. Oh, and um, yeah, I guess my favourite... Yeah, it's it's a kind of a... Not cliche, but like it's kind of like an easy way out, cop out type of thing to say that you like the singles the most. But I guess she picked her singles correct because I like um, Introvert. I like um, Woman a lot. And... Um, Ooh, uh, point and kill those are those are really cool tracks in it like definitely my favorite on the album top three um yeah i'll be giving you my top three for each vinyl and yeah we go from there in it okay people so just to round off this video um yeah i know this was probably a really long one um future videos won't be this long definitely i just felt like i needed to give that sort of little sims appreciation she's a really cool certy artist and um yeah, I just feel like the the mainstream media and the, the masses need to respect her thing a bit more in it. So that's why I just felt like, yeah, let me give her the time. And obviously it's the first the first of many, first of many of these types of videos looking at vinyl and that sort of thing. Um, I guess what I would say going forward is um, make sure to leave a comment in the bottom to let me know what I can do better, what what other sort of information you'd like to see in these types of videos about the vinyl or about the artist or anything like that and yeah we could just grow this sort of thing together and obviously i'm collecting these vinyl anyway so um obviously if you guys want to collect vinyl i can put the links for where i buy mine to places like amazon um banquet records that sort of thing and um yeah, we can grow this sort of uh, community of uh, vinyl collectors, music lovers, audiophiles, that sort of thing together. Um, yeah, so just signing off um, before I go, make sure you hit the like button if you like what you've seen today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know when I post or know when the Nameless Cartel posts. Um, what else is there? What else is there I can say? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, leave in the comments which... Um, which album you want me to get on vinyl next or that sort of thing i have a few i don't know if anybody noticed the erica badu up there i definitely need to look at that one next and we've got um kid cuddy's latest album um right what is that one called again yeah man on the moon number three so i definitely be looking at like there's a whole bunch of vinyl for me to look at and show you guys and we can just take a look at that together um like i said next couple of videos will be way more streamlined way quicker than this one and i'll try and show you what 
some of the vinyl sounds like. Obviously, YouTube moves mad with the copyrights and all. Well, copyright law in it is what it is. But um, yeah, I'll try and show you what it looks like spinning on on a record player and that sort of thing. And yeah, thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, please make sure you hit the like button if you liked what you've seen. Uh, leave a comment down below to let me know what I can do better. Because obviously, I want to do better. So, um, but yeah. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Have a good evening whenever you're watching this. And yeah, name is Cartel signing off. Peace.